How's it going, Rackle viewers? Grim Caddy right back into another Legends of the West video. And our winner today is Sumo Anderson. At his request of doing John Marston's elegant suit from Red Dead Redemption 2. Which I touched on when I did the Red Dead Redemption 1 video, but uh, you know what? A fully in-depth video for itself is uh, not exactly a bad idea. So, prior to breaking this down, Pete, you know, piece by piece, uh, quick little announcement. My apologies for not getting a Call of Juarez video out uh, yesterday. Uh, the power in most of uh, the Pacific Northwest out here was out, or at least on my end of it it was. And uh, when I finally came back on, due to time restraints, I couldn't actually edit and upload the bloody video. So, my apologies guys. Uh, that said, I do have something exciting around the bend that I don't think has been published yet, though it might be. I'm literally going to set the thing the moment I finish this and upload it uh, to just publish whenever it's done. So, do look forward to that. It's a nice little announcement thing too. Without further ado, let's go ahead and start breaking down Southfish, shall we? Starting off with the hat. For this particular outfit, he is... John is wearing a fairly fine-looking hat, and it's... a slightly darker gray with a bit of a silver band. Now... Sadly, I don't really have much that actually matches that. The Panama hat matches kind of the overall shape, and has at least one thing that sort of matches the color in the dark gray. But there's no silver band. The closest I really got was uh, this one, the lighter gray with the kind of darker band. Though, the trilby hat, eh. I, I really want to say it's a nice second bet, but honestly, it, it's not. That brim, that brim is way, way too small. There's really just nothing else that fits the look overall. Kind of a buzzkill. Of course, you could always just say screw it all together and throw on uh, John's classic hat. Or if you have it, John's gambler hat. Actually, I do think John's gambling hat would probably fit the look a little better than this, but if you don't have either of those, Panama hat, best runner-up I got, sadly. It's not that great. For coats, I did go through and I replayed the mission where he's wearing this outfit, and I got a good, long, hard look at it. It is flat-out a classic frock coat. Though, whether it's in a really dark midnight navy blue or a black, it's kind of hard to tell. The black does work. It works very well. And the only thing that kind of throws it off at all is the interior color of that lapel there. Which, if I remember right, his is just like uh, kind of another shade of gray. Wow, this is uh, kind of like a muddy maroon. That said, beyond that, it fits. It works. I count it. I love it. Vests, we do not have access to the vest he's actually wearing in this. It's a very nice pinstripe vest with blue which you would think they would have given us in the opulent vest but they did not sadly so i went to the old fullback of the traditional vest which does have a nice gray pinstripe to it which i actually recommend for the red dead redemption one version of this outfit or the classic vest which comes in a kind of darker blue really it's kind of a dealer's choice thing here once again uh if you want to go with blue, blue works. If you want to go with the gray, eh, gray still works. I mean, it just has to be pinstriped. For shirts, thank God an easy part of this outfit. The French dress shirt in white. Easy as that, simple as that. For pants, fancy pants in black. And really, the only thing I can point out is if you change up or you disagree with bits and pieces of the outfit or the coloring, the really only thing I can really tell you guys is that it his pants match the coat. That's about it. It's like black on black works. Suspenders, we're not going to see them, so it doesn't matter. No chaps. For boots, yet another bit where I had to go take a hard, long look at it. And honestly, I can't tell. <laughs> like, I, I looked at it in a scoped rifle, and I still can't really tell quite what he's wearing. So, best guesses, quite frankly, are the wingtip gaiters in black, which work wonders. Or the button law shoes in kind of the uh, gray brown motif. As I definitely didn't see any red in there. I think the wingtip gators personally fit the look better. That and they're darker. No spurs with this outfit. No mask, no bandanas for neckwear. He's wearing that same bloody tie. He's wearing the exact same tie as he was wearing in his Red Dead Redemption 1 version of this outfit. 
and it drives me nuts because we don't have it available to us. It's freaking purple with a strike to it. We don't have that. It drives me nuts. We have a very dark purple, and we have a dark blue, but nothing in the lighter blue spectrum. That yeah, red almost works. So, yeah, that's more of a brown. Yeah. So, kind of irritated by that. It's a dress tie, best I got. Blue, dark purple, kind of, again, dealer's choice. Have fun with it, <laughs> why not? No gloves and weapon equipment. We're just going with John's standard gun belt and holsters and his satchel. No talismans at all for this particular outfit. <sighs> Eh. I mean, it passes, in my eyes. And for what I have to work with, yeah. I think this is the best that I'm going to be able to do. Hmm. Eh, I give it a pass. Definitely a lot better than Buffalo Soldier or ugh, Night Wolf. Oh, good God. Anyway, as usual, I hope you all enjoyed. If you all did enjoy, great way of showing your support is by liking the video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, share with your friends. And to further support, just for the fun of it, you can always check down below in the description for the guidelines of how to submit your own request down in the comments, and how we tally the votes. Oof. That all said, once again, thank you all for watching. Till next time, kids. Take care now. Bye-bye then. And maybe I'll see you in Red Dead Online. <laughs>